Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to B Tech. It's Basil here with two Android smartphones. The newly announced HTC Desire Eye with its 13 megapixel front facing camera and the Sony Xperia Z3. Both of these have 5.2 inch displays, incredibly powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processors. But how else do they stack up against each other? We're going to start off by talking about the design. And the HTC Desire Eye is actually plastic in spite of the fact it's got such powerful internals. We can take a look closer and you can see it's got some pretty stunning styling. That double dip body is, well, it's available in two colors, a corally kind of red and a deep blue as well. You can take a look at our hands-on video to get an idea of how the deep blue looks. It's a large device, 5.2 inch display. That camera ensures you've got a big top bezel up top and it's pretty much matched by the bezel at the bottom. It is, however, sporting boom sound front-facing speakers. It might not look like it, but you've got a strip below the camera up top and bottom for front-facing front high-quality stereo audio. On the right-hand side, you've got a volume rocker as well as a power button and a two-stage camera button. We're really happy to see that make a reappearance on an HTC device. At the base, micro USB connector. Left-hand side, you've got two slots. These kind of give away the fact that this thing is waterproof, similar to those slots found on the JBOT Fly 2 one packs a nano SIM slot one, a micro SD card slot. Up to the top, 3.5 mil headphone jack, and on the flip side, another 13 megapixel camera. Both cameras have dual flashes, one warm, one cool, in order to ensure you have the best white balance you can get. You also have an NFC contact point, HTC insignia, and yeah, it's a very good, comfortable feeling phone. Not stark, not cold, not metallic, very different to HTC's flagship offering. So we're gonna guess it's gonna come in at slightly less money than that. Do you know what won't? The Sony Xperia Z3. This is pure flagship through and through. Glass front, glass back, you've also got a metal frame. It's really nice and solid, but it's much more angular, less forgiving in the hand. 5.2 inch display as well, front facing stereo speakers up top and bottom. Right hand side, power button, you've also got a volume rocket and a two stage camera button, nano SIM slot, and um, you also have a micro SD card slot and they're under flaps. The nano SIM slot, and micro SD card, both under flaps on both devices, but you do have to unflap a flap for the micro USB connector on the Sony Xperia Z3. So the HTC Desire Eye manages to nano coat it in order to ensure you've got that waterproofing. Magnetic dock connector on the left-hand side as well as a lanyard connector, and up at the top, 3.5 mil jack. Flip round, glass backing, and a 20.7 megapixel rear-facing camera. They're only a two megapixel front-facing camera by contrast to HTC's Desire Eye. As far as those screens go, both 5.2 inch IPS LCD displays, or the HTC is an SLCD display. Same kinds of pixel densities, which means sharpness. And you can see as we pull in closer, you've got the same kinds of quality. We're gonna have to put it through a rigorous test before we give you anything too conclusive, but HTC is well known for producing fantastic screens. Those user interfaces, Android across both, but it's different Androids. Sense 6 on HTC's device, this is virtually identical to the HTC M8 experience. You've got home screens, you've got bling feed to the left hand side, pull down with one finger to pull down notifications tray, pull down with two fingers to activate your quick toggles, and you can jump into your applications tray. This is all vertically scrolling. So the actual UI really nicely matches the hardware, nice long hardware, lots of vertical scrolling on the user interface. As for Sony, again, Android, but pinch out and you can see a different overview of your home screens. Here's where you can tweak things like widgets, apps, wallpapers and themes as well. You can swap out your themes very, very easily. Jump into your applications trades, a horizontal scrolling list which is very easy to organize into folders and leave your apps as they are. Pull down one finger, you've got your notifications bar, pull down two fingers and you've got quick toggles. That's pretty much Android in a nutshell. The user experience is going to be similar but we have to say Sense is more designed for the hardware. Sony's user interface has been really similar for a lot of iterations, so we'd really like them to update it some. Now, moving on to those cameras, 13 megapixel rear-facing cameras. Um, we can't give you anything, again, too conclusive, but check out our hands-on with the Desire Eye, and you can see some samples that we took on them. Um, when we do give you our full review, we will link through in this video. 
all com processors inside, two gig of RAM on the HTC Desire i, three gig of RAM on the Sony Xperia Z3. You have LTE as well as Wi-Fi, 3G, Bluetooth, etc. As for availability, you can expect the Desire i to land a little bit late this year in the next couple of months in the UK. Haven't had pricing confirmed yet or networks confirmed, but watch this space. The only other real thing to speak of is battery, and that's got there's quite a big discrepancy there. You've got a 3,100 milliamp battery in the Xperia Z3, whereas you only have a 2,400 milliamp battery in the HTC Desire I, so you can expect the Z3 to outlast the Desire I a fair bit. But seeing as you're paying a lot more from it, that's no real shocker. Hopefully you've enjoyed our side-by-side -side comparison. If you've got any questions, fire them in the comments section below. If you like the video, click like, and if you like the channel in general, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.